Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Before we have studied about the emulsion, today we are going to see about the suspension. Like emulsion, suspension is also a very important topic to discuss and hence it is crucial that you should know the crux of it. We are going to see the ba very basics of the suspension. Here we are going to see what is suspension, what are the ideal characteristics and classification of the suspension. So what is suspension? The suspension can be classified as a coarse dispersion containing finely divided insoluble material suspended in a liquid medium. The liquid medium is usually water or water based vehicle and the insoluble solids have a size ranges from 10 to 1000 micrometers. Next is what is the characteristics of ideal suspension? An acceptable suspension contains certain desirable properties including the following. The suspended material should not settle rapidly. The particles that do not settle to the bottom of the container should not form a hard cake but should be readily redispersed into a uniform mixture when the container is shaken. The suspension must not be too viscous to pour freely from the orifice of the bottle. The product must be fluid enough to spread easily over the skin and yet must not be so mobile that it runs off the surface to which it is applied. The lotion must dry quickly and provide an elastic protective film that will not rub off easily. It must have acceptable color and odor. It should not be gritty. Now, what is the classification of suspension? Based on the proportion of solids, suspension are classified as dilute suspension which generally contains 2 to 10% of solids and concentrated suspension which con contains 50% and greater solids. In general, depending on the nature and behavior of the solids, suspension are further classified as deflocculated suspension and flocculated suspension. Deflocculated suspension has pleasant appearance due to uniform distribution of particles, whereas flocculated suspension had somewhat unslightly sediment and supernatant layer. In deflocculated, supernatant remains cloudy and in another one, supernatant remains clear. Particles experience repulsive forces, whereas in other one particles experience attractive forces. Particles exist as a separate entities. Particles form a loose aggregates. Rate of sediment is slow as the size of the particles are small. Rate of sedimentation is high as the flocks are the collection of smaller particles. Particles settle independently and separately. Particles settle as flocks. This sediment is closely packed and form a hard cake. Sediment is loosely packed network and hard cake cannot form. Hard cake cannot be redispersed. In flocculated, the sediment is easy to redisperse. That's it for today. It is a very short video for the suspension. Later on, we will see the details of suspension, how to formulate the suspension. That's it for today. 